Okay, thank you. Mafia's not giving us anything. I hope. Oh, Garfield. Yeah, yeah. Garfield, Garfield. Put Mo back in again. Mo, let's go back to Mafia. So what's he doing? You know what he's going to do? Call the foul! Call the foul! Good! Hey, hey. Take guard you, David. Good minutes, Lance. Good minutes, big guy. The Bobcats are frustrated by Regina's game plan and end up behind the eight ball for most of the half. What's worse is the Cougars score baskets, Hemmings detests, layups, and three pointers. The score at the break is 41 36. You understand that? We understand that you're a little physically tired, but it's mental now. It's mental. Do you understand? Offensively, you're not getting a lot of movement. That's the time. You got to get a lot. Of, you got to get more movement. You're not losing the game on the offensive end. You're losing the game on the defensive end. One, the inability or or or, or lack of desire to go to the defensive board. Remember, guys, we sent five guys to the defensive board. We got one guy in there trying to battle four people. The halftime lecture doesn't do any good. The Cougars increase the lead to nine when Hemmings calls a timeout. Hey God, our defense is pretty good for 20 seconds. It's the last 10 seconds that's killing us. Because we, it's the last 10 seconds. We play to a point, and their movement just outbeats our intensity. So our intensity's got to be there for 30 seconds. Come on, you can do it. You just you got to chip away. Subbing players doesn't seem to help. Andrew Skirman comes in and immediately gives up a hoop and commits a foul doing so. The Bobcats end up trailing 73-56 before they mount a comeback. With the Bobcats charging, Hemmings continues to wander on the sidelines and that causes his wireless microphone to fall off. So we're no longer privy to what's mentioned on the bench. Meanwhile, the Bobcats cut the lead to five. Then to two. With 32 seconds left, they tie the game. And then with six and a half seconds left, Trevor John gives the Bobcats their first lead. Hemmings calls a timeout, and since his wireless microphone is no longer attached, we're not privy to what the last second strategy is. However, Hemmings later said he instructed his players to play man-to-man -man defense. Watch the Bobcats number 30, Mark Pasley, and Regina's number 14, Ashley Yeaman. Lee's mental error costs the Bobcats the game. Hey, God, you know what I'm saying? I want you to feel this pain right now. I want you to let it go. I want you to understand that, hey, if we play 40 minutes from the beginning, we don't get in that situation. Basically, what it came down to, we tried to make a real hero play and then got the guy in the open court. And the thing about this guy, I've been at this a long time, 25 years. 25 years. And what happens, there's no pressure on that kid. Okay, that was a first-year non-bench player that hit the shot. Why did he hit it? Because the clock was running out and he had to shoot it. There's no pressure on him. The worst pain in the world is the pain you feel from, from something that you know you could have avoided. That is the worst pain in the world. But understand me, if you don't learn from it, then you are foolish. And if you do, then you are champion. Let's go. 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 Let's go.